welcome back everybody to our second hospital on Theme Hospital, our Core 60H open source game. We've already built our second hospital right here, and we're about to serve our very first patient with the floaty head right here. We have hired our doctors, we've built our clinics that we needed, we've built a nice washroom facility, staff room. The only thing we're missing right now is I believe the ward and the research facility and that's why we have extra land over here once we earn enough money from treating our patients here we'll have the perfect amount to expand our hospital and just in time because look at all these patients coming in right now oh, what do we have here your team has discovered a new condition it is bloaty head the cause is sniffing cheese and drinking unpurified rainwater Symptoms very uncomfortable for the sufferer. Cure the swollen head is popped, then reinflated to the correct PSI using a clever machine. Well, we have discovered a new disease, but we've already added the inflation room right here. We have a doctor on call, a nurse waiting standby here. We're just waiting now. There we go. He's going in. He's going to be treated. Yes, we have a pharmacy right here, and we have a nurse available. Excellent. Oh, we have a new disease right here. Your team has discovered a new condition. It is gut rot. Cause, Mrs. O'Malley's Good Time Whiskey Cough Mixture. Symptoms, no cough, but no stomach wall lining either. Cure, a nurse can administer a selection of dissolved chemicals to coat the tongue. Excellent. Oh, well done. You've just cured your first patient. Well, at least I've cured the patient this one. Remember last episode, I think we killed a few patients, unfortunately. But we have another... Here we go, read this one here. Your team has discovered a new condition in sleeping illness. Cause, overreactive sleep gland on the roof of the mouth. Symptom, overwhelming desire to crash out everywhere. Cure, a high dosage of powerful stimulant is administered by a nurse. Well, 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 we have a nurse and we have a pharmacy. Excellent. And we have the money rolling in right now. Our first satisfied patient. Thank you, sir, for your money and for your time. Everyone seems to be well treated right now. A bit of money coming in. This doctor seems bored. Looking out the window. Oh, there's a patient being treated in our psychiatry department. Speed up the speed a little bit until some more patients come in. There we go, everybody's getting served now. Patients are waiting in line. Excellent. Oh, what is this here? LF the third has expressed a wish to visit your hospital. Shall I issue an official invitation to visit the VIP? Or fob the VIP well, with excuses? Well, I believe I will invite the VIP over. Our hospital is in perfect running condition. We have nothing to hide. The floors are clean. We have janitors. Let's do it. Oh, another disease. Your team has discovered a new condition. It is TV personalities. Cause, a daytime television, symptoms, delusions of being able to present a cookery show. The cure is a trained psychiatrist must convince the patient to sell the TV and buy a radio. There we go. So our psychiatry department will be busy with these TV stops. Now where's the VIP? $800, we cured another patient. VIP, where are you? Doctor doesn't seem too busy here. Nurse, $351, excellent. Treated another patient. Everyone's getting treated well here. Oh, we have a question mark. Let's see what the question is. We've exhausted all of our diagnosis machines on the patient and are still not sure what is wrong. There's an 83% chance that they have identified with the invisibility. 
What should we do with the patient? Only visibility, 83%? I'll take a chance on that. Take a chance if possible cure. Why not? Oh, and what is this here? Your team has discovered a new condition. It is heaped piles. Uh, cause uh, standing around by water coolers. Patient feels like he or she is sitting on a bag of marbles. Cure is a pleasant yet powerfully acidic drink dissolves the piles from the inside. And one more here. The uncommon cold. Small particles of snot in the air are causing it. The symptoms are runny nose, sneezing, and discolored lungs. Cure a big swig of uncommon cough medicine made from a special ingredients, and the pharmacy will cure this. Well, the pharmacy is going to be used quite a bit this episode. But I have a well-trained nurse, and I know she's up to the task. The doctor doesn't. The oh, there's the VIP. Let's hope he doesn't see anything wrong. Yes, water the plants. Get the plants. You, get to work. Do something. Don't just stand around there. Look useful. Get in the doctor's office. I hope he has a good time. What do we have here? The squids. A new condition cause eating pizza found under the cooker. Yuck. Symptoms, uh, surely you can guess. Cure, a glutinous mix of stringy pharmaceutical chemicals solidify the patient's inner Yeah. Oh, and we got spotted plants. The IP looks like he's having a good time so far. Everything seems clean. The doctor's doing their work. Think? Should be okay with the VIP. And if he has a good time, I think it gives us a nice bonus. So that should be fun. It'll help us on our way to expand our hospital. Excellent. The staff aren't on break right now, so looks like they're all working. And we're still curing patients, you hear the cheering in the background. Always a good sign. Where did our VIP go? Oh, we went back to the washrooms. Yes, they are clean. And adequate. We have a good cleaning staff, watering the plants. We have nurses on call. We have doctors just awaiting to serve you. We have patients coming in. I don't see any issues. I don't that the doc that the VIP would have any issues with us. Mr. Probst, I believe uh, did you have a good visit? We're going to find out as soon as he leaves the property. Good day, Mr. Post. Your Highness. Doctor McGraw, please, office. And he's just walking out of the property now. Let's see what kind of review we get. Okay, here's our analysis. After visiting your hospital, L.F. Probst III remarked, uh, this is a super hospital, and I should know I've been in a few. Your reputation in the community has been boosted. You have been awarded a cash grant of $2,000. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's see if we have enough money to expand our hospital. What price? $12,950 for this large one, or $5,500 for the smaller one? I think right now we'll just start with the smaller one. That way we'll build our research department and our ward up there. Facilities. Research department's $5,000, we have $13,000, we have quite enough there. 
and our ward cost 2,000. Excellent. So we'll get the ward right. A nice big ward. Down here, this will be our ward. station right there. Let's add a few more plants, fire extinguishers, and we'll add five more beds. See if they fit. money for the research department, so we're going to build that right now, so we can research new ailments. It's going to be a nice, it's going to be a huge research department right here. A door here, people can get in. Our research machine. Desk. There we go, a few fire cabinets. We'll have two desks. We'll have two doctors working in this department. And the filing cabinets are right here. Keep them nice and warm. Prevent a fire. The research room. New drugs and cures are invented or improved in the research room. It is a vital part of your hospital and will do wonders for your cure percentages. The research requires a doctor with research qualifications. Well, I believe in the last episode we did buy... We did hire a doctor that was research qualified. But we'll check for some more here just in case. Don't need any slow doctors. We'll hire this doctor just for the sake of for a GP or for another purpose, in case one of our doctors is trained as a researcher. Dedicated to helping people with a smile, this is a well-trained doctor. Consultant. Costs a little bit more, but he's more qualified. Well, this doctor is a researcher, but he doesn't seem too qualified. Well, he is deaf as a post, but that shouldn't stop their qualifications. But he is quite rude. He baits tourists and museums, and that's, that's just rude. Let's see if we can hire a new nurse. Remarkably, poli was it? Remarkably polite and a genial manner. So we'll hire a new nurse here. I believe we should have enough staff right now. Hmm, we should build some chairs in this room. Let's build some... Oh, a drink machine, of course. Maybe two drink machines. A few benches. A few heaters. And a few plants. People are cold. Our drink machine's here, and they shouldn't be cold once we build our heaters right here. Another 
a selection of plants. Oh, the plants don't fit here. Well, we'll put the plants in our research department then. And we'll put some in the ward. Add some life to the hospital. We're still treating patients here. No one seems to be quite satisfied with the service they're receiving. Not there's available. And, uh, let's see how the people are feeling about the heating in the hospital. This is their cold, so we'll warm it up slightly. Staff appears to be quite happy. Indeed. Excellent. Our staff is enjoying themselves. Well rounded staff, well trained, and satisfied with their job. It'll be almost the first of December soon, so we'll see if we can hire a qualified researcher. Oh, what do we have here? Your team has discovered a new condition. It's slack tongue. You cannot cure this disease. What do you want to do with the patient? I don't have a slack tongue clinic? Hmm. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to send the patient home because I don't have room. I didn't research the department yet, and... Uh, I don't want the patient to die in my hospital because I haven't treated him, so... Sorry! I don't often like to send patients home, but I'd rather them... ...die on their own and not inside my hospital because it ruins my ratings. Let's see if we have research... Oh, look at this! Lazy and badly motivated. No, I don't want him. I changes. Here we go. Rude and abrasives? He's a very qualified doctor, but I don't want a rude doctor in my hospital. Foolish risk taker? Nope. Good natured and very hard working? Well, he's a psychiatrist, so we might need him for our psychiatry department when our other doctor goes on his break. What are we doing with a researcher on staff? You. Dr. Goldman. Dr. Goldman, would you like to come with me? Would you join our research department? Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Goldman. Excellent. So I believe we do have. Oh, and I'll send this doctor into the inflation room. And uh, I believe that should be good. Quite a few patients here. Entering the hospital, we have a nice GP's office. We'll probably add a second GP's office once we earn enough money in our second building here. We've exhausted all of our diagnosis machines. There's an 87% chance that this patient is invisible. Well, 87% chance? Of course. Of course I'm going to take a chance. I believe that this patient is invisible. Merry Christmas, everyone! It is the 25th of December. No Christmas lights. No holiday cheer. I guess they're celebrating on their own. Everyone seems to be working right now. It's almost the end of the year. We're going to check out and see what kind of year we've had. Check out our valuation. Perhaps we'll receive some funding from the hospital bureau, and we'll be able to expand our hospital and build ourselves a slack tongue clinic. Exactly, slack tongue. Unfortunately, I'll have to send you home. I don't have a slack tongue clinic. Come back in the come back in the new year. Maybe we'll have a slack tongue clinic for you. Let us check out our. Evaluation for 2001. 
I am not the richest hospital anymore. I am down to 25,032 value. However, my cure count is 29 patients cured this year. I've also had the most visitors of 39 visitors. I also pay my doctors the highest at 12,367, and I have not killed anyone this year. And my total value is 64,000. Excellent. So I may not be the richest, but I have the highest value. Let's see if I've received any awards this year. Oh, I've received two awards this year. Your genius has kept deaths in your hospital to a minimum. You can be extremely pleased with this result. $3,000. Excellent. A hearty congratulations on achieving an impressive cures-to-death ratio in your hospital in the current year. $4,000. I am delighted. I haven't killed any patients. What about this? You have won the Nobel Prize. You have received the Nobel Prize for impressing VIPs. Everyone who has visited your hospital in the last year was highly complimentary about it. Your reputation has gone up. Excellent. The Life Goes On Corporation presents you with this trophy for achieving no debts whatsoever this year. $10,000. Perfect. And congratulations on receiving the squeaky clean trophy for the hospital with the best reputation over the last year. You deserve it too. And $2,000. I'm just rolling in dough right now. Thank you very much. Thank you all the hospitals, and thank you to all my patients for not dying on me. And since this is the end of the year, on our second hospital, I think this is a good time to wrap up this episode. We will continue the next episode where we'll expand our hospital, we'll build ourselves a slack tongue clinic, and we'll win the achievement and s succeed with all the VIPs, heal the most patients, and be the king of the world. Thanks for joining us in this episode, and I'll see you next time.